to the channel so today i'm going to be showing you what is in my art box for 2022 so i'm really really happy about this video because i've wanted to do it for a very long time and i've never gotten around to doing it so very exciting to show you what's in my art box on the top of it like i I'm not going to lie, I'm probably going to paint over it at some point. Just, I've got quite a lot of white paint, so I'll probably fill it all with white at the top and maybe do, like, a proper design on it. But for now, it's all right. So, I've got, like, this little canvas of, like, at the time, it was, like, all my paint, like, splodged on there. But now, I just don't think it goes with it really well. So I have my, like, the thing here, a little label saying art supplies, but yeah, I am definitely going to paint over it at some point, but yeah, just to make it look a bit more fancy, a bit more smarter. But I got this box, I will leave a link down below to any of the art supplies or anything I got in the description and also this box in description because this actually came to a very good price. I can't remember what price it was at the time, but it, was, it wasn't it was too expensive. So for what it is, it's like quite big. It's probably the size of me. And for what it has in it, it didn't come to much at all. But obviously with all the art supplies and all that I've got for it through the years, obviously, it's probably more expensive now because it has so much in it. But yeah, anyway, let's get into it. So when you open the lid, I have just the inside of here. I think I am going to paint this completely white inside or something. Or maybe just um, use some sandpaper to get some of the art off there. But then I'm going to do like a drippy effect with all my art supplies. So like, like that, because most of them are squirty ones. So if I just do that and then let it go down, I think that'll look really cool. Um, but yeah, so for now, this is what it looks like. Inside, I just have my acrylic paints. I actually got a set of pastel ones. I really, really like this brand, Rico, and they have amazing acrylic paints. I've got pastel ones and metallic ones, and I've nearly used most of the, the metallic ones already, and they're really high coverage. I can't tell you how much I am in love with them. They're just so good, so nice. Um, I've also got in here some of just like paint pots. Obviously, they come in different colours. Um, but these, are, like, they are amazing. But at the moment, I'm kind of trying to go more towards squirt ones because... Even though these are quick drying and they are amazing, they're really high coverage, I just think that I want some squirt ones so that I'm not using so much of these all the time because when you're trying to paint with them, you have to be really careful about like the stuff that you squirt, so like how much you're putting into the plate because there is like so so much in here so then you're pouring that all into the plate or whatever you use for putting your paint in you're using so so much of the paint because you can't control it you can't control how much you put in as much whereas with squirty ones you definitely can so i just think they're much better and i'm trying to put myself to that one these i think a lot of people will remember i had on my either green gracie or the beginning of this channel 
I did a hobby craft art supply haul and this is one of them there is a gold one in there as well i haven't used all of these yet because i'm not gonna lie i don't use metallic colors that often but when i do i definitely go for these more than like any other ones because they are very very good that is probably because they are by hobbycraft but they are better to use and they're very very good so can't recommend these enough but yeah they're really really good and then i've got some so if i can get this out got some squirty ones here i've got two in black and then one like a lighter shade of pink and these are by crafters choice i think and these are amazing so i'll have to like as i said before i'll have everything i mention down below in the description because yeah they're really good i don't know if they'll have the hobby craft stuff because they sold out quite quickly i remember i got like i think the last two of those colors so yeah but they're really really good for money really bad good value for money but yeah they're really good so i've also got this massive tubing and it won't fit down the side but it's a massive tube of titanium white because i love white i use it like all the time to cover up my canvases because i hate wasting my canvases um so i paint over them a lot so i have my white paint here just to cover them cover it over talking of canvases i will show you my collection of bigger canvases in a minute but the smaller ones i do actually keep in here now some of these i am not painting over because i will be using these to put up on my display over there in the new year because i actually use these smaller ones for putting on there so that's what i kind of do i kind of switch them out every few months or something so i used to have this one on like all year round you fell asleep by rachel green i really like how this came out um but i kind of wanted like a different thing on there i am actually going to change out like what i've got on there already because i'm not quite sure of how it came out i think i wrote the wrong thing on there so i'm not quite happy with that i am welsh so i had this and i had to do it for my welsh lessons but i'm not very happy with how it turned out so i am having to go over it a little bit again but i am going to turn it into a welsh thing because i think that's really good especially with march because obviously saint david's day I want something Welsh in my room for that. Hashtag Moiseween. This is definitely going up this year. Um, I'm really happy with how this turned out. And obviously, hashtag Moismas. That is going up as well. I'll probably paint over the wording of these ones. <coughs> and do them again. Because I'm not entirely happy with how the wording came out. Uh, so I'll probably put something on there that's a bit better but those are definitely not being painted over I just like to keep them in my art box because I don't need them on display so any small canvases like this I will keep in my art box just for now I have some labels in here I don't know why because I have a perfectly good label maker but there you go I have my sketching pencils these are really good i cannot recommend sketching pencils enough because they are so good this one specifically comes with all the sketching pencils you'll need some charcoal um blending stubs i think 
I can't remember what that's for, but yeah, <laughs> a blade for your blending stumps. Bend, bendable eraser, I think. Moldable eraser. Something eraser. I can't remember what it's called, but it's something like I've just said. And that will come in handy when you really want to get into the small grooves. I haven't used it quite yet, but they're really good, I've heard. And then just a normal eraser in there. So yeah, it comes with quite a lot for your money. And yeah, I really like it. I do have some blending stumps in my pencil case for school because I have an art pencil case because I take art for GCSEs. So I have that one in there so that's why there's not many in this one because i am using them for school it never just does up i'm not good at doing things up that's why um i've got some duct tape all my paint brushes in here some paper watercolours, colouring pencils, literally anything. I do actually want to say to you about something. If you have loads of paint on your brushes, like I had so much paint on this brush and I literally couldn't get rid of it with like anything. But I actually got it off by soaking it and some other brushes in nail varnish remover that actually gets off the paint so if you're an artist and you've clicked on this video and you want to know how to get paint off your brushes then I highly recommend soaking them or it on in nail varnish remover it really helps believe me um so yeah that's that I also have my painting apron in there my plates and then i'd normally have my mixing platey thing midgety but i don't know where it's gone it's probably somewhere else but that's what's in my art box on top of it i normally keep my blanket because i actually have my art box underneath my desk and i like to put my feet on it so i thought might as well cover it with blanket because it gets the blanket out the way and it's also a nice surface to put your feet on so that's what I do with it but I do really want to paint her over the top so if you give me any suggestions on Instagram DM me any suggestions you have to cover my art box with that would be highly appreciated and now I'm going to show you where I keep my canvases because they cannot fit in this one I've tried and you will see how many canvases I have and you will understand so I'll show you now so this is somewhere that I haven't shown you in a long time and I've actually completely decorated this space to like literally be <laughs> completely different i am going to be doing a room tour soon hopefully in the end of february but i will show you this now so under here i actually keep two frames at the bottom but all of my canvases so that i can paint over them so i first got this one i am going to be painting over all of these but I just wasn't too happy about how this thing came out, so I am going to be painting over it, unfortunately, because, yeah, I wasn't particularly happy with that one. This one I am happy with. It's just, it's a bit weird because it's not my favourite song anymore. But this was my favourite song and by Ariana Grande. And I thought I'd do a Mean Girls font and stuff. But you can tell I've written it. <laughs> That's the only thing with this one. So I kind of needed to practice a little bit more with that font before going on to it. So I am going to be doing this whole thing again. If you remember this, this went on my old wardrobe. And now... <laughs> 
I'm not vibing with it. I absolutely love friends. Don't get me wrong. I am obsessed with friends. But I'm just not so happy about that anymore. This was this way. And this was going to be a birthday present for my grandma. Um, I'm going to paint over it and I'm going to redo it because I'm not happy with the colour I've painted it at all. And I'm not happy about the whiteness. Like, that's just really, really weird. So I'm going to paint all over it again. Um, yeah, I've got to get around to doing that at some point. Um, probably give it to her for a Mother's Day present, maybe. I don't know. Then I've got this one, which was at the beach. I'm really happy with how this came out. I just don't know if it goes with the vibe that I was planning for it. Because I wanted to do some stippling, which I'm really happy about here. But I don't know about that or the sun. So I'm going to be definitely doing something different with that. This one was like a whole mounting with a sunset. Does that look like a sunset? Nope. So, painting over it. It's good, this, because it's making me see them again as well and kind of realising where I went wrong and what I should do next time. This was going to be some, like, ice cream melting. Don't get me wrong, I'm really happy with the concept, but I feel like the, it, the drips should have been a bit longer, so I'm just a bit devastated that it didn't go on for longer. I'm probably going to do it again, but like do actual drips on it to make it look a bit better. Um, but then maybe that should be the design for my art box, actually. That'd be cute, wouldn't it? And this is the last one. I decided to do a whole thing of my grandma on here. A portrait of my grandma. She does not look like a cartoon. Definitely painted over that. So I think they're all of them. So let's put them back. No one needs to see them now. Um, thank you so much for tuning in to watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed and you know all my secrets now to where I put everything. Really hope you enjoy this video. I can't stress this enough. Make sure to subscribe down below because we are nearly at 90 subscribers and even that seems crazy to me i actually have a vision for this year to get 100 so if we can do that thank you so so much and there will be a 100 subscriber special which might not be a q and I I don't I haven't really planned that yet so hopefully it won't be another q and A, but it will definitely be something really really exciting so anyway I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you soon for a brand new video bye guys love you <laughs>